بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو مائی یوٹیوب چینل سائنس فور ایوری ون ٹوڈے دا ویڈیوز ریلیٹڈ ٹو آر این اے سیکوینسنگ ڈیٹا انالیسز اینڈ دا ٹائٹل آف مائی ٹوڈیز ویڈیو از ایویلویٹنگ کوالٹی آف سیکوینسنگ فائلز وی ایل این ایکس دا بیسک ایم آف مائی ویڈیو از ڈیٹ ہاؤ ٹو پرفارم فاسٹ کیو سی آن یور سیکوینسنگ فائلز سو ان ٹوڈیز ویڈیو آئی ایم گونا ڈسکس دا کنسیپٹس اینڈ اسٹیپس ریلیٹڈ ٹو ہاؤ ٹو پرفارم فاسٹ کیو سی آن سنگل فائلز اینڈ ہاؤ ٹو پرفارم فاسٹ کیو سی آن ملٹیپل فائلز and i will make a base script uh, related to the second step that how to perform fast qc on multiple files so it will require a, a simple base script so i will also uh, type that base script and i will also explain it to you people because in the proceeding videos when we will be doing uh, fast p uh, the pre processing of files and the alignment and the indexing so we will need scripts and uh, you should know that how to write a script a base script and uh, how to uh, how to process it and how to uh, just execute it okay so it's very much uh, it's very much important for you people to write a base script okay so i will try my best to uh, make you people understand and uh, it's very easy don't get panic and uh, if you if it, if it is your first time so no worries i will discuss it and i will explain it in a very lame language okay so as you all know that uh, uh, i have uh, started this video series related to rna sequencing data analysis and uh, in the previous video uh, i have started from the part 8 uh, that uh, the linux i am discussing linux uh, i have discussed the basics of linux and the commands and navigation so i want you to uh, if you haven't watched these videos so i i recommend to watch this part 8 and part 9 of this video series so in order to just get a, 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 an understanding of linux operating system because uh, today i will write, i will be writing a script so if you are not familiar with the navigation and the basic commands so then uh, it will be a bit uh, difficult for you to understand okay so first watch this part 8 and then uh, part 9 and then proceed with this part 10 okay so I, this is my personal recommendation there are also multiple videos uh, related to rna sequencing data analysis i have uh, i'm explaining this whole concept in a very uh, specific manner and i'm uh, following this series uh, each and every step and each and every step is uh, is important to be um, uh, to be understand because uh, all the parts are linked to each other okay so i recommend to also start from the very beginning if you want to learn the complete concept of rna sequencing data analysis okay so it will help you a lot and it will help you to understand many bioinformatics related concepts okay so uh, uh, today i will discuss the uh, i will just find the quality of the sequencing files okay i have just discussed the about the quality of sequencing file in the part 4 and part 5 of this video series uh, i have given the reason that why our uh, sequencing uh, uh, sequencing files are being compromised with respect to quality what are the reason i want to discuss the structure and the quality of sequencing files so again i'm telling you everything is connected okay so i recommend to start from the very beginning and uh, to in order to understand all the uh, the stuff very well okay now let's start with the practical and now i will show you that uh, how to perform fast qc on your files okay so basically i'm using hpc high performance computer or we can simply say super computer and uh, uh it mainly can uh, it only op uh, it mainly operate with the linux operating system so basically this is linux operating system and uh, i have discussed the basics of it okay so for example that uh, i want to i have some sequencing files so i will show you that how to proceed with it for example i i want to just go to my uh, just access my sequencing files so i just go to the nadeem folder and after that uh, uh here is the cd i want to check that where is my file so basically it is present in the uh in the in the final data okay and this is the final data and now this these, these are my sequencing files okay also if you want to just uh, uh, process a single uh, single fastq file or fastq.gz file so how you will proceed and how you will find its quality with respect to fastqc so basically as i have told you in the previous video i have installed the fastqc tool in a specific environment so first time i will activate that specific environment so for activating a specific environment i am sure i already have discussed and i am also telling you again mom activate and i have uh, created a Uh, uh, an environment of named quality and inside that environment i have installed the fast qc tool okay so now i have activated the uh, i have activated that environment now i will only write uh, fast qc and after that i will write the uh, the uh, basically i will i will type the accession number of my uh, my file okay so for example i want i just want to run it on in a uh, on a single file so uh, i will write the accession number okay so the first is 759 okay okay and uh, uh okay. okay so this is my single file i want to check the quality of this file okay so basically this is this file okay only this file so i will just type it fast qc and srr211759 and it's uh, i want to just run it on a on that first read okay so simply i will just type it and i will enter it okay okay sorry okay so i will enter it and it will start analyzing it okay so starting analysis of the srr double nine and now it is proceeding so basically i am using high performance computer so uh, that's why it is a bit quick because it consists of uh, huge ram 
and but if you are processing it with your core i5 or core i7 so it will take uh, uh, two minutes or three minutes to process and to check the quality of a file okay so now i'm going to show you that uh, how are the results of it so okay let me show you the results of it okay so these are the results of it uh, i have processed the uh, this file and it can uh, it gives me two reports okay so basically uh, if we want to just view it so this html reports uh, report is enough for us so i will just uh, write uh, click right and after that i will write open with default program and after that uh, we will visualize it okay so uh, it will open and after that we can check that what is the quality of our file okay so it will uh, take a little time uh, I don't know. I have some internet issue. I think after that, okay. I will I will discuss this, this report in the later videos. Okay. So this is the report of my that single file that what is basically it has what is the basic statistics and what is the per base sequence quality. Okay. So I will discuss in the later video. But uh, this is the quality of the file. This is the first QC report. Okay. Just look here. It is the first QC report of it. Okay. So I have run it on a single file. Now, if you want to run it on multiple files, okay. So for multiple, if you want to run it on multiple files, so very much easy. Um. Uh, it or uh, we can also use script for it and we can also use a single command for it but i will prefer script for it because uh, 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 in the later we uh, in the later parts of this video series we will be dealing with scripts okay so script is nothing else but a single uh, uh, .sh file and uh, inside it we just uh, uh, explain it and just we write the command that i want to process my sequencing files and uh, if there are multiple files so we just apply a for loop okay so let me show you that how to start with a script and how to write a script so very simple if you, you want to write a script so just write nano again if you want to make a script okay so i want to make a script of fast qc okay fast qc fast qc script uh, this is the name of my file and dot sh this is very much important because it is a base script uh, script is basically a base script okay so you have to write that extension of that dot sh okay now this is open now here you can write your script okay you are you can type your script okay so very much simple if you want to uh, uh run uh if you want to run a fast qc on your multiple files so very much simple okay so um it will take some time to uh, type a script so i already made it at a script for you people and in that script i just uh, told the linux operating system that uh, perform fast qc on my sequencing files uh, in a row and consider all the files okay so basically i will just explain the script to you people and then uh, you can also write for type it on your own okay so i have the script uh, this is the script and this is the fast qc dot asset script okay so basically uh, uh, i just defined the files the directory containing the dot gz fast q files okay so basically i want to show you that these, these are my uh, these are my uh, that sequencing files okay so just look here uh, define the directory containing the .gz fast q files so uh, uh, i just name a fast q directory and i just want to show them that uh, show it that where are my files being present okay so these are my files and i want to run fast q c on these all files okay so i will just tell that where are my files present so it is present in home 3 mrg002 nadim new data and cd fold uh, cd directory okay so this is the whole path just uh, type this path and just name it fast to directory okay after that uh, uh, you, you will also uh, uh, tell it that where should it store my output files okay so define the output directory for fast qc results so output directory i named it as an output directory and uh, till home 3 mrg002 nadim and new data, new data cd it is the same so i just write it uh, type it uh, uh, dollar and fast to directory you can also write the complete uh, directory up till here you can also write, type it here no issue now after that i i have a specific output folder and it is named as output fast to see okay so basically um i just tell it that where should you store my output files okay so i uh, it will be when it is performing that uh, fast qc so after that when that html files and that zip files are produced the reports are being produced so it will automatically go to the output fast qc folder okay so the, i have specified the input for input for uh, the, the directory the navigation of the input file and the output directory after that now i will tell it that uh, uh, perform fast qc on all my uh, files okay so i will just start with a for loop for loop means that consider all the files okay so for file file is basically an item okay so i'm just telling them that these are the files okay so you can write for file for item in so where are those files being present so it is present in the fast queue directory and what is basically that fast queue directory this is that fast queue directory okay and my files are present in this directory okay so i am telling them about these files okay so i am telling this fast queue directory and i am typing uh considering as a dot gz okay i'm specifying it that th the, those files that are that have the extension of dot gz okay because i'm also having an output fast qc okay so uh but uh, although it is a directory but if there are dot csv files so uh then uh, it will also start processing it okay and it will give an error so i'm also, i'm just telling it that consider the dot gz files okay dot, which have the extension of dot gz okay because all the files have dot gz okay so i just specified it this star is basically uh 
consider only all the file that you don't easy okay so this and then after that i tell them do that perform it so this is all the uh the code after that i will uh tell that eco running fast qc on files uh it, it's only just telling us that yes it is running so it is a type of re uh, uh success report okay and after that the main thing fast qc is basically uh that uh, uh the, the file and i want i tell them that the output should be stored in the output directory okay so this o is for the output okay and then done so it's a very simple code you know it's it's basically this is a script okay so after that i just tell them first to see directory output directory i type a for loop and after that i just tell them that where should my output being stored and i write it done and after that i will just save it and i have save it and very simply very simply how to execute the script so very simply i will just go to the uh the script folder where i have stored it okay so i will just write script and after that this this is my script this uh this one this uh fastqc.sh okay fastqc.sh this is my script okay and i will just simply write bash and after that i will write fastqc.sh and i will click on enter and it will start execution okay it will start executing this these files okay so uh, after that when it is completed it will take time because these are very uh, high uh, these files are very much of high uh, uh, mb so it will take time okay so after that uh, th this is the output now here is the output i already have uh, performed it for you people so these are the output files okay so it also can first you see report consists of an html report and a dot zip uh, report okay so after that uh, then you will uh, you can just uh, check each file that what is the quality of my file okay so uh very much important thing that uh, if they if when, when you write a script okay when you just type a script so after that what can you do is just uh, uh, copy that script and after that give it to the chat gpt and tell it that if there is any syntax error so just remove it okay because when we are typing a script so there uh, there may be um, some error in it in the form of syntax or in a form of space because uh, linux is very much uh, case specific and very much uh, it is very much accurate and specific okay so if it's find a single space uh, so it will give you an error that, that this space is not being considered or it is an error okay so when you type a script so after that just simply uh, uh, go to for example now this is my script and i want to just check it so very much simple uh, just when you write a script so easily uh, just copy it and after that uh, copy it and give it to the chat gpt and ask that if there is a syntax error so remove it okay so it will remove the syntax error and then easily copy it and paste it here and after that execute it okay so uh, the, this is uh, i'm following this type of step and it is very much successful okay so this was all about the today's video i think i, I got this point that how to uh, perform fast you see on your single file on your multiple file and i also understand make you understand the base script okay so if you have two three files so just make a script and just uh, uh, uh you're gonna practice over it because in the later videos when we will be performing alignment and indexing and feature count generation so i will use scripts for it okay so you should have a uh, simple knowledge about scripting okay so this was all about the, today's video i will see uh, i will see you in the next video and i will explain the first to see report because it is very much important for interpretation because if you have performance so you have to report it in the paper or in your thesis that what was the quality of my file and when you understand these uh these uh, plots then you can start pre-processing it okay because uh, if your data is compromised and if uh basically if, if it need pre-processing so when you are confident about the plots and you know each and everything about the plot so then you can easily uh pre-process it okay so in the next video i will discuss the plots and after in the next video i will discuss the pre-processing that how to perform pre-processing okay so this was all about the today's video if you have any questions so do let me know i will answer you there you can also email me your questions uh i will answer you okay if you like this video if you understand this video so like it share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos related to bioinformatics thank you very much god bless you